Hello, so this is day 35 now with our Pavlik harness and we've just gotten back from Max's um, appointment. So this was his first scan since being in the harness, which is sort of five weeks now since we got fitted. Um, and we've literally just had the best possible news. Um, his readings are so much better than we could have um, hoped they would be. Um, and I think he's made more progress than they thought he might. Um, so that means we've officially been given our golden ticket to one hour a day out of the harness, which means we can give him a bath and all things like that. He can have a kick about. Um, so it's amazing, really. I don't know quite what I was expecting. Um, I was going in with my fingers firmly crossed, but, you know, expecting... Um, every chance that it might not be such great news um so yeah I'm, I'm definitely still in a little bit of shock um so his readings now are 64 on one side and 72 on the other and they need to be 60 um on both sides um so he's now in what's called the consolidation period so um this is where he now sort of continues in the harness just to make sure um that the bone continues to form um in the way it needs to and um, just to make sure that we don't start going backwards and and stuff like that um his abductor uh, uh movement has um improved it's still not perfect and um, so i'll just keep doing the stretches that i was doing um and um, he now has good bony roof on both sides. Like a few weeks ago, I didn't even know what that meant. I didn't even know it was a thing. Um, and now like I'm confidently saying that, you know, he's got good bony roof and I know exactly what that means. Um, we had a really good look at his scan results. The um, physio talked us through it. Um, we actually saw the physio that done our video call when we were on holiday, um, which was really nice. Um, I feel like we've come a little bit full circle um, with it so yeah feeling really really good um we've been given a second harness so we can now take the harness off wash it put him in a clean one um and that on top of being able to give him a bath he's just going to be be like so fresh um he did smell a little bit she even passed comment that he was a little bit smelly but you know there's only so much you can do with topping and tailing you know like he's growing um all the time so he's getting tighter and tighter in the harness it's like the days and the weeks go on um so it, it does get harder to clean him um and he was sore he had quite sore um spots um on his like groin creases and um, the back of his legs and he actually had um quite a patch of red sore skin on his back um which is quite sad really but you know um a good few days of pseudo cream will sort that out um so yeah like just over the moon really um and we also got to review Freddie's x-ray in detail and talk through that. Um, and again, that's all good. So his angles are, um, I think it's 25 degrees. Um, sorry, less than 25 degrees, um, which is what they look for on um, x-rays in older children. Um, I think she said it was like 22 degrees and it needs to be like no more than 25 degrees something like that so again all positive so he'll now be referred back to his physio um just for sort of further um observation and sort of um yeah just they'll just continue to check him just check he's progressing in the way that he needs to um so for max now we've got an appointment in two weeks time um just to refit his uh, harness um just in case he does any more growing in that time and then we've got an off date of the 3rd of december so four weeks and one day um and then we'll be free he'll be out of the ha harness um he'll have another scan that day just to triple check everything's okay um but yeah um, yeah, I'm just super happy. Like I, yeah, yeah. I don't really have anything else to say. I'm just really happy. Um, I just can't wait for him to be able to have a kick about. You know, from five uh, five weeks ago, he wasn't really doing much moving, and now he's like 15 weeks, um, just over 15 weeks old, and he's really active. So seeing him, like moving around, is just going to be crazy. Um. After his ultrasound, we were able to like keep him out of the harness for like five minutes before we went in to see our physio. And he looked so long, like we haven't seen him with his legs straight, like for ages. And um, he just looked like such a big boy. 
yeah, it's going to be so strange to see him, like, all stretched out. Um, but, yeah, we're just going to keep going with using the carrier every day, as that seems to have been, like, helping. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Um, I'm just chuffed. Yeah, I, all of those, like, really happy adjectives. I could use them all right now. Um, but, yeah, can't wait to have a bath tonight, definitely. Um I'm sure there's a few more things that's going to crop up, you know. Um, haven't bathed him in so long. He might hate the bath now. Like, he did like the bath before. He might hate it now. Um, I'm just going to start trying to do more tummy time with him. Like, encourage him to do, like, um, like kicking around more. Because um, it's all new to him. Like, so, yeah. So, now I'm looking forward to, like, all new challenges. So, these are going to be different things um, that I'm going to be talking about. But yeah, super exciting. So I'll just um, share our like onward journey now in the next few days and weeks. But yeah, stick with us. We're getting there. But for now, I'll catch you later.